uh, I, I adore uh, when I'm reading something or seeing something and you're transported. You know, that's the thing I always tell people who aren't fan fans that that's casual. I said, you don't understand how great that is. Um, it's like a wide awake meditation when you're yeah, in. It is mm. the, the, the power of escapism. Yes. Oh. And there's not much work out there nope. that can do that. It is absolutely like meditation. That is a great description of it. Yeah. That's what we're trying to protect every day. Yeah. Make I, escapism great again. Nerdorotic.com. I was so used to you being this cover artist because yeah. uh, you were so larger than life on the covers, and it, and you sort of again your your artwork lends itself to that that sort of splash display of 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 being front and center bang. But when it was announced that you were going to be taking over the Batman interiors, I was just like, because of the, you know, the ridiculous quality of the work, yeah. I was just like, how is he gonna how is he gonna manage? I, you you uh, understand that that first month when they sent the script and I knew I had a month to do it, I was thinking exactly what you were thinking that there can't be a drop off. You have to yeah. keep, you have to keep doing this. Look, I was very lucky early on to have people uh, Neil Gaiman, Doug Mensch, Denny O'Neill, Archie mm. Goodman. They all could oh. see something in me that I couldn't see, and they would get a hold of me and give me these very grand ideas because they felt I could handle it. They didn't say that to me. They just said, here it is. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're seeing it. Now, it intimidated me like nobody's business, not because of just their reputations. Uh, Doug Minch terrified me because I'd grown up reading his comics. Denny O'Neill, I was petrified. Because, <laughs> because they're coming at you and saying, you know, it's let we're making stuff now now mm -hmm. i'm in the inner sanctum so i had to i had to be very um calm and act to nod accordingly and you know and then go vomit because it was <laughs> it was all you know these are these are the people that that made me love this stuff so uh i remember neil handed me the seasons of mist stuff it, it, with nothing other than let's just do it mm -hmm. let's just do it we'll just figure it out as we go uh, Doug, the same thing, because Doug had done so many things, and yeah. he was the same way. They they were acting that way. It's only until later on did I realize what they were seeing, because when you're this close to it, you don't. You're just, uh, it's it's you, it's a it's a mixture of paranoia and absolute joy at the same time. I don't know how else to say it. You have yeah. to get something out there. It's a it's a mixture of paranoia and absolute joy at the same time. I don't know how else to say it. You have yeah. to get something out there. You have to come up with something new. You have to be excited. And you have to, number one, be a fan still. If you're not a fan, get out. If you think you're better than anyone else, leave. Because we're all <laughs> trying to do this. And I feel I'm, like you're talking to somebody from a different dimension well, right now. You know. <laughs> Can I just remind everybody that this is an actual comic creator saying this? <laughs> yes. It's not a unicorn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's no, shitting ice look, cream right now. He's not a paid it's a actor. It's not a paid actor. It's a real comic creator who's a human being. Well, you've got to remember, though, they were sending me the black and whites of all the guys there. And it was awesome. I, I used to feel great that three or four months ahead of time, I'm getting these black and white make readies. And I'm reading. I still got them in my garage. I, I would just read them. When they would do it, it was it was like I knew I was going to lose some time because I would just sit down and start reading. Them. And they were basically so you know what was going on. Right. For the everyone to know what the other guy's doing. So you didn't trip over each other yeah, yeah. or whatever. Uh, but for me, it was just an art show. Um, I was looking at people who really know their stuff and seeing it in production was exhilarating. Uh, and I felt like I would tell my friends who were into comics, you got to come over and look at this, like in the goofy way, you know, we mm -hmm. look at this, look at this. And they would all sit around and see it in the black and whites. And you'd see all the notes in the margin by Denny. And at that point, um, your respect only grows. Your fandom only grows. Uh, I I never look at this, doing this, as as anything other than a gift. Yeah. Well, and, they, they say if you, if you love what you do, you never have to work a day no, in your life. Now, my humbleness extends to that degree. <laughs> On the other hand, I do my own thing. I mean, I, sure. I, I'm willing to let it go if I don't get to be myself. You can't make everybody happy, but what you can do is let them know that you're coming from a place of respect yes. and that you'll listen to them. That's all I do is I used to listen to them and I, I spent time 
uh, in those days before before internet, writing them back, some of these people back that would be upset and let them know that you know um, nothing snarky. I would I would understand. Like I would look seriously. Like I said, you stand in line for an hour to let me have it. You're I I I gotta respect that. You know. And it would upset other people. I said, no, 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 no. This is what we do because everyone's read a book, myself included, where you go, hey, why did they do this? That's mm -hmm. the fandom thing. Mm -hmm. a, with good and bad and love and hate and all this kind of stuff. When some, when a book would take a different direction, whether in the stories or the writing or the whatever, I would give it a shot because I knew those guys were trying. And I'd stick with it. God, my collections from the 70s are excellent because I never gave up on anybody. I just keep following and following and following. And a lot of times good books. My mind would mm. be changed. When I would hear that in it, it, as as a as now doing it, um I'm very careful about saying professional. I I just I have no formal training. I don't I I'm embarrassingly ignorant, but I do have this love and emotion for it. And I, it carries over from, you know, when I was a kid and I first was able to get this stuff. And, and, um, so, so I, I'm, you know, a fan who got lucky, got a front row seat, got to be in the secret editing rooms. I remember going into Denny O'Neill's office and it was like Valhalla, you know, um, it was just an office, but Denny was there and he had, you know, all of his stuff. And, you know, that was awesome. Can we protect this man at all costs? Yes. All costs. all costs. I want everyone circling the wagons right now. This man stays safe at all costs. Uh, Kelly, you are my God. Not just as a... As a I'm as not a, alone. A, There's others. As a professional, because you have earned that title. But my God, you are. It's, well, I love... You're an amazing I, human being. I love <laughs> comics. I love... Uh, you know, I get a hold of artists and i go man you're doing great this is terrific stuff and i can tell they're surprised if what do you hear. want yeah what, just what you... <laughs> no i just hey this no, is great it's, stuff it's and normal. there's a lot of great people um the only thing if they ever ask me anything i i just tell them keep doing what you're doing i i always feel that again production makes you better um it's just the way it is and and if you're going to have a career you need a body of work and you need a mm -hmm. run on a character and you need you need to mm. submit to the to the actual um seasons of doing comics it's it it's just the way it is and nothing changes it and and it shouldn't because it'll focus their your mind i think what you have to do is uh, is always 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 go to the people that it matters the most to to make mm -hmm. it and 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 they will they will uh certainly you can have someone overseeing it who doesn't, but that I always saw as a plus because then I'll enchant them. I'll get them into it. Yeah, because if, I mean, ultimately it needs to matter to them. You right. got to find that connection. And yeah. in some cases like Harv Bennett with, you know, the famous story with Star Trek 2 is he didn't know anything about Star Trek, but he sat down and watched it and got it yeah. and understood <clears> the connection. Uh, you, you can do that. You don't have to be a lifelong fan. Even in some cases in the early MCU, people were just, mm -hmm. you know, buying up comics and then spending months reading them yes that's pretty much all we ask we don't ask you to be a, well you can, I'm, nobody can I be mean, a lifelong fan i will say that that what you have to i mean my wife calls me the oldest 14 year old there is <laughs> you know and my mom calls me familiar. peter pan the yes. boy who wouldn't grow yes. up <laughs> and my wife says 12. yeah okay see <laughs> um but what it is is it's that spirit uh, with all the responsibilities you gain as an adult, with all your responsibilities, I mean, my my sons are my focus. You know, yeah. my wife and sons are my focus. So, so never never is it that I go, uh, boy, it's a bad day or something like that because they're okay. You know, that's mm. yeah. okay. The the rest of it is then oh, the fourteen year old takes over and says, you know. Uh, my big questions in the day is what monster movie I'm going to run while I'm working. You know, what record am I going to listen to? Uh, you know, and then I think of my friends who have normal, regular jobs and, and they have to deal with all the stuff that comes with it. And I think, thank God that my big question of the day in my commute down the hall to my office, my studio is, you know, that's my commute. It's just what goofy thing, you know, uh, 
I can have uh, no problems when I'm in that world. And so conversely, reading this stuff, in, of, uh, this is what it's for, is to just get away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little little relief. Uh, by the way, what you're hearing, folks, is this thing called gratitude. You don't hear yeah. that a lot. I don't I think Kelly would go very far in today's industry. No. no. <laughs> well, I never. I was never involved. Not with an attitude like that, Kelly. Yeah, buddy. I get how you feel. Um, I understand that. You know, when when you like doing what I do now, you know, yeah. uh, online, and having somebody like you. Uh, on the show, or somebody like Graham Nolan or Chuck Dixon, and and you just, I, I, you know, you you try and maintain this level of decorum and professionalism, and 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 inside, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> I think it simply comes down to you, you hire, it, it, you know, there's all these people have ideas what it does to 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 for the industry, and my thing was just hire people who can do runs. That's mm -hmm. it. I, I just we'll start with that. We'll start with when you buy whatever the book is you love, you will know that artist will be on for twelve. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's it. That's all. That's they don't. They can, they can write and draw whatever they want. Okay, you can do that. Just be on for twelve, and get the energy going, and get people to f follow the train, and see what you get. Then all of a sudden, the stuff you all planned will change, and that's what happened to me. We would all be working on stuff. And then you get a phone call saying, you know, what if we did this? Or what if we do that? And all of a sudden you get uh, these wonderful inspirational moments. At that point, you realize there's the value of, of being on this. Um, and I can't, uh, I can't stress that enough. That's really the only thing I would think. Of. First, start there. Um, Whoa. <laughs> Frankenstein started moving in the background, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've got a I think we've got a wild Lynn in the background. Yeah, a wife in the wild in her natural yeah. habitat. And she doesn't like fire either. No? No. No, Brr. fire bad. Fire bad. Brr. Brr. Nerdrotic.com. Please subscribe. Hey, if you like what we do here at Nerdrotic Daily, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you could do that with your favorite YouTuber as well, I'm sure they would appreciate it as much as I do.